What was it like starting the kind of training in old school muscle phase one? And how was that any different than stuff you've done in the past? I'd love for you to describe your experience with that. Yeah. So um, a couple of things that I really loved about Fit Father Project when I first got on there was, um, you know, you had those Excel spreadsheets, right? Um, and it, I downloaded those. And it's the first time in my life that I actually was tracking something, yeah. right? Because, you know, you learn, you know, to bench press, right? Everybody knows the bench press. Um, so your videos on showing how to do it right. And then also using that Excel spreadsheet to track how I was doing and to increase it automatically tells me to increase the weight when I hit a certain number of reps. Yeah. Um, it was really great to do that because it's the first time in my life I've ever done something like that and was actually tracking what I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, so using the Fit Father Project right at the start or using old school muscle um, really helped, um, you know, really start to gain some muscle and lose weight at the same time. So, which everybody says that's impossible to do, but I think it's, it's a, I'm, I'm proof it's possible. Yeah. Hey there, my friend, it's Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, and I want to welcome you back to another episode here on the Fit Father Project podcast. In just a moment, you're going to hear a conversation between myself and one of our Fit Father program members, Jason Mucky. Jason is a 51-year-old father who lives in New York, and just a few months ago, Jason was literally struggling to walk himself to the mailbox. He was out of breath and really in terrible shape. Um, and he was able to use our Fit Father program with the proper strength training and nutrition to really just completely reverse his health, to lose 35 to 40 pounds, to gain strength to the point where he's deadlifting 350 pounds now, and he's doing Spartan races, finishing the top 10 for his age, and he's even training to go to the Taekwondo Nationals in his 50s. And all of this really wasn't a possibility in Jason's mind before he started these practices of healthy living. So I love to share stories like Jason's and his story exactly because it really shows that you're not over the hill, you're not too old, and if you start to get your body healthier, the kind of possibilities that can open up for you is absolutely phenomenal. So without further ado, let's get into this conversation today with Fit Father Jason Mucky. All right, Jason, welcome officially to the Fit Father Project podcast, my friend. I'm super happy to have you here. And to kick this off, I'd love for you to introduce yourself to the guys listening, your name, your age, where you're from, a little bit about your family, and then we'll hop into your Fit Father journey. Sure, yeah. So my name is Jason Mucky. I'm from upstate New York near the Finger Lakes area, uh, 51 years old, um, just got into my 50s, which is great. Um, got a beautiful wife, uh, four children, two that are grown up um, and two that are young. So I have a 10 year old and a seven year old that are at, at home now. So, uh, so living the dream. So, yeah. And yeah. definitely, <laughs> definitely a busy man. I mean, having two yeah. out of the house, two in the house and, <laughs> That's right. yeah, yeah. and into your fifties in probably some of the, the best shape you've been in, in quite some time, but I know it wasn't always that way. So take yeah, me yeah. back to the beginning of your your Fit Father journey. I know you mentioned before we actually hit record that it was like a little bit of the COVID stuff that was kind of like around that time. So where did your Fit Father journey start? Yeah, so uh, well, let's step back just a little bit. And so mm -hmm. I was probably, you know, so let's start with high school, right? So yeah. high school, I was doing sports. And it, just from then on, uh, I lived in a family that was very like unhealthy. We, we ate McDonald's, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So after high school on the way up through, I just was an unhealthy person. I started gaining a lot of weight. I ended up getting to 240 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and then basically, you know, I started to hit, get close to 50 and I'm like, man, all my parents are dying and my grandparents are gone. Mm -hmm. And it's all because of health reasons. So I decided to join a gym that helped for a little bit, but then COVID came around and it kind of kicked us out of the gym. Yeah. You know, and then I went bloomed right back up to that 240 again. Mm -hmm. um, so then I was like, I got to do something. I looked online, found Fit Father Project, um, gave it a try. And I tell you what, it really opened my eyes to not just the fitness part of it, but more importantly, the, the diet part of it, mm -hmm. the health part of it, the nutrition part of it, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, supplements and, and the mindset. So mm -hmm. um, and once I found that um, because of COVID, you know, I started doing that stuff at home. And then immediately, as soon as gyms opened back up, I went back in there and, and joined a, a you know gym where I could lift weights and and, and go to town. So um, it was really great. So that's fantastic. And and you started off at around like two forty, two thirty, and yep. over the course of like I guess maybe the first few months of working with the Father Project, what did your weight drop down to? Yeah, so I was using old school muscle. So um, what I found is actually, you know, lifting heavy weights and in using that program, it actually increased my metabolism. So mm -hmm. um, and then the diet changed. So 
you know, immediately I started seeing a pretty good drop. Um, and then, you know, within six months or so, I think I was, you know, down at 30 pounds, uh, Mm -hmm. 35 pounds, somewhere in there. Um, and then I got down to my lowest, uh, about 40 pounds less. I was at run 190, 180, Mm -hmm. high 180s. Um, and then, um, I'm focusing a little bit more on gaining some size. Yeah. So I've increased my calorie intake and I'm not as worried about losing that weight anymore. I'm trying to gain that back up in muscle. So nice. That's fantastic. So. And, and when you, when you start the old school muscle program, I want to talk about that. Cause I think a lot of guys yeah. come on this podcast and talk about their fit father, 30 X fat loss and weight loss journey. But yours is unique because you really started coming in on old school muscle. What was it like starting the kind of training in old school muscle phase one. And how was that any different than stuff you've done in the past? I'd love for you to describe your experience with that. Yeah. So, um, a couple of things that I really loved about fit father project when I first got on there was, um, you know, you had those Excel spreadsheets, right. Um, and it, I downloaded those and it's the first time in my life that I actually was tracking something, yeah. right. Cause you know, you learn, you know, to bench press, right. Everybody knows a bench press. Um, so your videos on showing how to do it right, and then also using that Excel spreadsheet to track how I was doing and to increase it automatically tells me to increase the weight when I hit a certain number of reps. Yeah. Um, it was really great to do that because it's the first time in my life I've ever done something like that and was actually tracking what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Um, so using the Fit Father Project right at the start or using old school muscle um, really helped, um, you know, really start to gain some muscle and lose weight at the same time. So which everybody says it's impossible to do, but I think it's, it's, I'm, I'm proof it's possible. Yeah. So, so how did, how did your strength improve, um, doing some of the OSM workouts over the, over the course of time? Yeah. So, um, I could tell you, uh, probably my bench press was probably a hundred pounds when I first started. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I'm up to, you know, I can bench press about two thirty, two forty. 240. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Um, I mean, that's, you know, sets and reps, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's not my max, but, yeah. um, and then just today I hit a uh, deadlift, my max of 350. So I've never done that before, but I, you know, I'm dead less than 350 now. So, which is great. You know? So, so my strength has shot through the roof. Um, and I think it's all that progressive overloading, you yeah. know, like you put in there, you know, so that you're always, you're never staying, you know, before when I went to the gym, you know, you lift 20 pounds of weight and the next time you go, you lift 20 pounds of weight. Right. And the next time you go, you lift 20 pounds of weight and your body kind of adapts to that and it never really grows or your strength doesn't grow. And you got to trick it. You got to say to yourself, Hey, you know, now let's do 25, you know? And and if you can't hit those weights or you can't hit those reps, then eventually the body says, Hey, I got to adjust to that. So you can. So, yeah. Yeah. And having this sounds like having the system where it's really all spelled out, particularly in the Excel sheet was huge for you because it just makes it more intentional. The whole process is more intentional. Did that make it more engaging for you in the process? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, cause you know, you have the Excel spreadsheet. I was printing them out and every day I'd print out the sheet and I take it in with me and I'm filling it out. And, you know, so I have them all stored away and, you know, I filed them because I'm the type of person I am um, just so I could track and then I could go back and look at it. But yeah, definitely. It kind of made me really look and think and see what I was doing before and what I'm doing ahead of time, you know, or or my goals for ahead of time. So nice. And and let's, let's pivot for a second. I'd love to hear about some of the nutrition changes you made. Like what were you eating like before Fit Father Project, and then once you start to get on the program, <laughs> what were the changes? Let's kind of do like a side by side comparison, so guys can really relate yeah. to the changes you made. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, a couple of things. Uh, first and foremost, you know, my whole life I've always been a McDonald's, you know, fast food as the lunchtime thing. You know, you eat kind of healthy at home, um, you know, but I eat a lot of pasta, and, you know, and the, the filling stuff at home. Um, and then I've done some. Uh, you know, those fad type of diets, like keto, that type of thing. But what I found once I joined Fit Father and I really started reading and reading your whole program is that it has to be a lifestyle change, right? I can't just do a fad diet because once I stopped keto, I gained the weight back. Yeah. Um, so the difference is, is that I started eating healthier and realizing that I still needed carbs and all those fun things, but you just need um, to understand and follow a lifestyle change. Yeah. Um, so basically a lot of protein, you know, a lot of vegetables, um, and then healthy carbs, which mm-hmm. is a big thing, you know, yeah. so the healthy carbs, like I switched to Ezekiel bread, which is something you guys, yeah. you, you big you, proponents of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You push me onto that. And that's all I eat now is this, you know, Ezekiel bread or wherever I go. So you see a lot of that. And then you see a lot of times I'm not eating when I eat chicken, I'm not 
filling it full of barbecue sauce and, you know, all those type of things. I'm just, you know, still, still seasoned, but not with the bad stuff. So, yeah. So some, some changes. So what's it, what's a day in your life look like with nutrition right now? I know you're looking to gain some muscle and some size, so you're probably eating some more calories and, and food, particularly around training, but what is it, what does it look like like today or yesterday? What do you eat? What do you eat in a day? Yeah, sure. So, um, this morning I woke up uh, every morning, actually I wake up and I have two eggs, um, with on, Z- on Ezekiel bread nice. with smoked with smoked salmon. Um, nice. so that's what I'm kind of doing. That's what I eat every morning. Um, and sometimes I supplement that with some oatmeal, mm-hmm. um, you know, carbs in the morning actually are pretty good for me. It helps yeah. me get through the day. Um, lunchtime I'm usually eating some type of salad with some type of protein put on it. Um, mm-hmm. whether it be chicken, you know, or chicken's like on the main the yeah. main meat that you use, um, or some steak or something like that, if I want to change it up. Um, and then dinner, it's the healthy carbs. Um, if I eat any, uh, pasta or anything like that, it's, you know, stuff that's good for you, you know, yeah. not, you know, um, a quinoa, you know, that type yeah. of stuff, um, is what, what my, uh, carbs are at night. And then again, chicken or some type of meat and some type of vegetable. So, yeah. So basically then, per- perfect plate kind of concept at dinner. Lunch yeah, sorry, is a yeah. salad. Breakfast is your Ezekiel bread, eggs, and some of the salmon and or oatmeal might be supplemented there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then I also throw in some yogurt here and there for snack food through the day. Nice. So, um, and then I do use, uh, you know, some of your protein shakes and stuff like that to supplement because I'm trying to build muscle. So, yeah. um, I add that as a snack um, in the afternoon a lot of times. So, nice. Um, sounds like a really so. dialed in plan. Do you do you enjoy following it this way? Yeah, I, I love to follow it this way because it's a it's a lifestyle change. You know what I mean? I'm, it's not a diet. I don't feel like I'm following a diet. Yeah. I'm just changed my lifestyle, and it. Um, I, I enjoy what I eat, and I don't really watch calories that much anymore because um, I know that I'm eating healthy. So as long as I'm eating healthy and I'm not gaining fat, then I'm gaining muscle. Yeah. So that's that's perfect. So nice. It's the way to it's the way to do it. So. How is your how is your mindset shifted throughout this process? Like during, let's just say, before you were really into this effective training and, and seeing results in joining Fit Father, where was your head, your mindset at with your life? You know, your fe- like feelings, mindset. How do you think and feel about yourself, and and how has that changed through this process of getting your body stronger and healthier? Yeah. So, well, if we go back to the start of this, basically, my mindset was, you know, I couldn't run to the uh, mailbox and back without getting winded. And I, my mindset was like, oh, I'm getting old. I can't do that. You know, like, it's just not me. I'm, I'm an old guy. Um, mindset's totally changed now. Like I'm running Spartan races and, you know, and do join Taekwondo in my fifties, yeah. you know? Uh, so my mindset is a lot different now. There's no excuses. Right. So, um, when I see people, um, friends of mine or people I see online or whatever, they say, Hey, I can't work out because I don't have the time or my job or my kids you know, I realize that there is no excuses, right? I have to, you know, I have the time. I just have to figure out where that time is. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I work out the only time I can is three 30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I'm waking up nice and bright and early before my day starts. I own two different companies. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I do it before I go to work and I have kids and all that. So it takes up my time. So, um, yeah, definitely my mindset has changed because of that. No excuses thought. Um, and then I just know that, um, I'm better at who I am now, you know, I'm a better person. Um, I know that I want to be around for my children. I want to be around for my grandkids Yeah. and, you know, and in order to do that, you got to be healthy. So, yeah, that's powerful. So. And it, I imagine, you know, it's funny and you correct me if I'm wrong, but l- when you start these programs, you don't really believe your mindset's going to shift necessarily. You just think you're doing something for your fitness. Like you want to improve your fitness, but the mindset kind of happens along the way. It's like the shift happens like along the way without you even realizing it. And you're like, man, now I'm a man that's like seeking out challenges and pushing boundaries as opposed to accepting limitations. Well, definitely. You know, like I would never would have thought of three years ago of running a Spartan race at yeah. all. And last summer, you know, I finished in the top 10 in the age groups. So I felt good. You know what I mean? Like here I, you know, so the difference is now is that, you know, I know I can do it. Mm-hmm. There is no stopping me. I think I gave you that I, in mm-hmm. our, uh, previous i gave you a quote about from bruce lee you know and there are no limits you know if you set limits on yourself you know they're only plateaus and you just got to go to the next level mm-hmm. and that's where i'm at now so i'm always jumping to that next level i want to see what it is so so what's in store for you this year like now that you're you you've achieved 
like a, a great amount of results so far and you've really changed your lifestyle. Like what's, what's next for you? So going forward, um, obviously I'm going to keep working out. I keep following. I'll probably try some, you know, I've done mostly old school muscle. I'm going to try some of your other programs that you have out there. Mm -hmm. Um, just to tr maybe work on my body fat percentage to get that down a little bit mm -hmm. more. Um, personally, uh, going forward, um, you know, I joined Taekwondo. So, uh, my goal this year is to hit the nationals. I want to qualify for the nationals. Let's so we'll go. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, you know, um, you know, that's a goal. So that's where I'm going. That's what I'm working towards. And, uh, obviously, you know, working out, stretching, all that type of fun stuff is, is, you know, what's getting me there. So that's fantastic. And I, I'm going to hold it in my mind, in my heart right now that you do qualify for nationals. And I hope you do send us a picture when you do. I'd love to see that. Oh, I think that's going to oh, be yeah, epic. Definitely. And I also would say that I think our, our fit father 30 X workouts, those metabolic resistance training workouts are going to be amazing for increasing your conditioning alongside of the stuff, the strength you build with old school muscle, that will definitely be helpful on your journey. So I, I would recommend you, you check those out as well. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I will. Yeah, definitely. So, all right. So let's, a couple more questions I have for you is, yeah. is one, what advice would you give for guys, fathers who are busy like you? I mean, maybe some other guys are, are running companies too, like you, like what advice would you give them when they're starting out? Well, the first thing is that to understand that there are going to be challenges and you're going to have to figure out how to get around those challenges um, and know that there, there are no excuses. You know, you just got to figure out where to put that time and that energy into. Once you get that mindset right, um, just keep going and keep doing it. Um, you know, like if, it, there, if you say you don't have time, um, that's why I wake up at 3.30 in the morning. That's why I work out at that time. Um, if you say you have a lot of work, you know, that's great. You still got to find the time to do that. You still got to fit that in there because your health is the most important part of this whole thing. Um, if you want to be around here, if I, I want to be around when I'm here, when I'm 70, 80, 90 years yeah. old, and you know, all my parents and grandparents are gone because they didn't put the time into it. So yeah. definitely don't let any excuses and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it either. Um, cause I'm living proof, uh, 240 to 190, uh, can't run to the mailbox to run in Spartan races. So anybody can do it. Um, <laughs> so yeah. that's the biggest thing I can tell you is this, the, the no excuses part of it. So, um, yeah. I think there's a lot of wisdom in there. Certainly the no excuses and also getting to the point where you have made healthier priority or a right. massive priority. I mean, you're waking up at three 30. This is because you, you know, you value it that much. It's worth it for you. And that's fantastic. I, I really yeah. love that. And, um, I want to, I want to close with this question. Jason, what, what does it mean to you to be a fit father? What does what does a fit father mean to you? Oh, so being a fit father means that I am two things. Uh, number one, I'm fit and healthy for myself, right? Intrinsic goal, like I'm yeah. fit, but also intrinsic, uh, extrinsic goal. Um, I'm fit and healthy for my family. Yeah. Um, I have children and I'm going to have grandchildren um, that I want to be around with and show them and prove to them that, hey, this is the lifestyle that you need to to be and what you, what you should do in life. Um, so, you know, sitting around the couch, watching TV, eat McDonald's is not the way to go. Mm -hmm. um, running Spartan races. My kids run them with me. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's, that's what you want to teach your children and your grandchildren to do. So that's what fit father means to me. So that's awesome. And I mean, it's very clear when you share that, it's like really like living by example. I mean, yeah. walking the walk and, and, and that has an impact on your family and the byproduct. So that's fantastic. Jason, I want to say congratulations and, and thank you for using this program so fully and for kicking yeah. butt with this. You're the man. I I'm just thinking about you at Taekwondo nationals. Now I can't get that out of my head, which is a good thing. I want to, I want to, I want to see pictures of that. And I hope you have a wonderful year of effective training of more continued success. And, um, and, and thanks for being a fit father. I really appreciate you. Yeah. And thank you for having the program. It's great.